السلام علیکم آئی ایم ڈاکٹر غزالہ نواز اسسٹنٹ پروفیسر ڈپارٹمنٹ آف بوٹینیکل اینڈ انوائرمنٹل سائنسز کرسٹ ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس اباؤٹ دی کیریکٹرسٹکس اینڈ موڈیفیکیشن آف روٹس دیٹ بلونگس ٹو دی سبجیکٹ اور کورس انٹروڈکشن ٹو مارفولوجی آف این جی او اسپام دی آؤٹ لائنس دیٹ وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس ٹوڈے آر characteristics of roots modification of roots modification of the roots on the basis of their functions nematophores and functions of the nematophores so first of all we move towards the characteristics of roots as you all know that root is the underground part of the plant which is positively geotropic and positively hydrotropic and negatively phototropic that means root always grow uh, towards the downward side of the soil and it grows always towards the source of water negatively phototropic means it grows away from the sunlight root is cylindrical in non green part of the plant why it is non green because it lacks chlorophyll content and as it lacks chlorophyll content it means that it does not does not perform the process of photosynthesis but there are certain cases in which the re, the ro- roots perform the process of photosynthesis and they are also green in color such type of roots are having chlorophyll content and the examples are entrepa and teniophyllum which are small hydrophytes root does not bear node and internode and that's why they do not bear leaves or buds as you all know that leaves or buds always arise from the nodes and roots uh, do not have these portions uh, these segments that's why they are lacking leaves or buds root tip is the subterminal part of the uh, root it is very sensitive and usually it is protected by a cover that is called root cape or calyptra calyptra has several function but along with the root hairs which are uh, situated behind the calyptra they increase the absorptive surface of the root and that's the, that's why the roots have a greater chance to absorb nutrients and water we will discuss about the modification of roots so first of all the the question arises in mind that why the root modification takes place there are certain purposes to accomplish those purposes modification and the roots takes place and these modifications are of several types depending upon their purpose we will discuss here uh, the modification in tape roots and adventitious root to recall the definitions of the tape root tape root are those roots which arises from the radical part and adventitious roots are those roots which arises from any part of the plant except uh, radical and that's the big difference between the two so first we will go towards the tape root modifications so the tape root modifications um, uh, take place for mainly three purposes and these purposes are first the, the first one of uh, food per, food purpose that is food storage the for the better respiration and for the protein per, uh, uh, formation that is nitrogen fixation on the basis of the three uh, types of purposes roots have been divided into uh, have been modified into several types we will discuss them one by one in our next slides the second type of uh, modification is the adventitious root modification and similarly like tape roots here the modification is usually done for the sake of certain purposes 
and there are uh, here are also three types of purposes the first one is for food storage the second one is support and the third one is spatial function on the basis of special function roots have been modified or rather adventitious roots have been modified into six types and all these six types of the roots we will discuss in detail along with their images one by one in coming text now we move towards the modification of tape root and the first purpose is the food storage depending upon the uh, food storage roots acquire different shapes that may be elongated that may be conical that may be round that may be oval so these roots have been divided into different uh, forms depending upon their shapes and here is the first type uh, depending upon the <coughs> food storage that is conical root these roots are broad at the base and conical at the apex here the example is carrot and this image you can see the uh, uh, carrot having conical uh, shape bo uh, broad at the base and conical at the apex the next type is the fusiform roots these are swollen in the middle and tapering towards both the ends example is the radish <coughs> the next type is the napiform roots these are spherical at the base and taper towards the apex example is the turnip if you recall turnip which is usually used in home uh, in your houses if you recall its shape you can clearly understand that which uh, what napi form roots are the next type is the tuberous root they have no specific shape they can acquire any shape any uh, size any shape uh the, but the thing is they appear thick and fleshy example is a four o'clock plant the next purpose of the modification of the tape root is better respiration now the question arises that why this type of modification was needed and why uh, respiration uh problems in respiration takes place in roots so there are certain types of roots and uh, certain types of plants having roots which are so tangled and messy that are uh, that create an anaerobic condition around themselves and anaerobic condition uh, makes root uh it makes it difficult for the roots to get proper oxygen and hence proper respiration therefore there are so many plants which emerge out uh some portions above the ground and these uh, above ground roots or root tips have minute pores which are called lenticels through which they respire these roots are called nematophores such as rhizophora in the image here which is taken from the natural environment you can see these outgrowths are the nematophores and these nematophores are having lenticels which helps the plant to get proper oxygen and have better respiration and this image you can see these are the nematophores this is normal root and this nematophore help in the breathing the next purpose of the modification of tape root is the nitrogen fixation and for that for for uh, for that purpose the types of root or the modified roots are nodulated roots these types of roots are found in leguminous plants leguminous plants roots are having certain swellings which are called nodules these nodules are having uh, nitrogen fixing bacteria inside them which are called rhizobium 
these rhizobium has the capability to fix na atmospheric nitrogen into nitrates and make it available to the plant the image clearly show uh, the swellings this is root system the swellings these swellings are the nodules and these are having rhizobium inside them that help in fixation of the nit atmospheric nitrogen here also you can see these black dots represent the um, nodules over the root system now we move towards the modification of adventitious roots again the question is that why the modification and adventitious root was felt so again there are so many uh, purposes and the mainly three purposes we already discussed and the first one among them is the food storage and on the basis of food storage adventitious roots have been modified into certain types and the first one is the simple tuberous root the simple tuberous roots are swollen and they do not assume any specific shape like the tape the tuberous roots of the tape root but the difference here are the arise from any part except radical and in the tape root case they arises from the radical example is the sweet potato you can see over here this shape is elongated and narrow this is also elongated but swollen this is oval oval and this is somehow round so they can acquire or adopt any shape depending upon the um, storage of the food the nodulus roots are single beads you can see over here and these beads appear at the tip of the root this is roots this is stem this root arises and they swell up at the end and form nodulus roots and they have definite shapes you can see these swellings too they later uh, go towards the apex and um, remain there and the form of uh, nodulus roots these types of roots are found in ginger and turmeric the next purpose of the modification in adventitious root is support so there are so many plants uh, which need uh, better support and uh, um, strong uh, support in within the soil so on the basis of support the uh, adventitious roots have been modified into certain types and the first one is the prop root the prop roots are actually those roots which arises which are aerial in nature they arises from the branches of the trees and these hang down and penetrate within the soil once they penetrate in the soil said so they give a firm support to the plant or tree and the example is the banyan tree so if uh, you have a chance to see some where the banyan tree you can easily see this phenomenon the stilt roots are the modified form of the adventitious roots for better support and uh, making the plant strong within the soil stilt roots arises from the nodes We, the example is sugar cane if you recall the stem of the sugar cane there are nodes and inter nodes from the nodes arises stilt roots obliquely and these roots they directly go downward uh, down in the soil and once they are embedded in the soil they give a firm support to the plant the next type is the climbing root what are climbing roots as the name indicate they climb over other plant or support it may be living or it may be non living here in the image you can see as they are adventitious roots so they are given out of by the nodes and 
they uh, climb over the uh, climb over the over other plants or support you can see they have adhesive nature and they know how to climb and how to get support of the uh, uh, host example is the money plant we all have uh, money plant usually in our houses and if you look at the money plant they climb or other support and because uh, their stem structure is uh, weak and they don't they don't have enough um, clearing chymatis tissues to give support to the stem the next type is the buttress root these roots are vertically elongated uh, elongated and they uh, spread vertically uh, spread horizontally in different directions and uh, they are horizontally they are very compressed they are woody and very strong once they are given off by the plant or the stem of the tree they give a very strong support to the tree in the soil example is the bombex that is bombex seba so on the basis of special functions the uh, adventitious roots have been modified into six types as we already discussed and the first one is the um, the first one is the epiphytic root these roots are aerial in nature they hang uh, they are hanging and spongy in nature the spongy nature uh, is actually the porous nature uh, which helps uh, the plant to absorb uh, moisture from the atmosphere and uh, the spongy nature um, keeps the plant wet and firm and uh, for firm in the form of that all the cells are rigid and the plant is uh, is very strong uh, the, the the spongy nature is actually because of the having special spongy tissues which are known as velamen and this velamen absorbs and store moisture from the air next uh, we are going to study about the sucking roots the sucking root as the name indicate these are uh, parasitic roots which are dependent for their food and support on other plant the example is the cascuta as you all know that cascuta is the angiospermic plant which does not have any chlorophyll content and they do not uh, sustain themselves without any support therefore they send out certain uh, root type structures from their nodes and these they curl themselves around the uh, host tree and get food and support from the host plant the roots or they given off or the cascuta given off are called uh, parasitic roots and they are microscopic in nature the floating roots as its name indicate they help plant to float over the water surface and uh, example is the uh, jusia such type of roots help in floating and respiration they keep the uh, the roots in shallow surface and usually in shallow surface is uh, shallow surface is more exposed to the atmosphere uh, uh, external outer atmosphere and they have more chance to get oxygen and help in respiration these roots are spongy in nature and they look like a mass of white cotton and they keeps the buoyancy of the plant then they dry when taken out of of the water assimilatory roots what are assimilatory roots as its name indicate they perform the function of assimilation assimilation function is usually done by photosynthetic tissues 
and photo the assimilate carbon dioxide in the presence of light so these roots are also assimilatory in functions they are green in color you can see over here these um, thread like structures they have chlorophyll content and they have the um, capability to perform the process of photosynthesis next is the mycorrhizal root the mycorrhizal root are uh, those roots which are uh, sent out by the fungus and they the fungus uh, they penetrate their root into the higher plants that is pinus here in this picture you can see the higher plants or the pinus plants having association with the fungus the fungus you know these are um, uh, a chlorophyllous uh, organisms and they are dependent for their food on other organisms so here these fungus they form an association with the higher roots of higher plants and what does they do the both the partners they get benefit from each other and how the fungus get nutrients and water from the higher plant and in response higher plant get a more increased absorptive surface area within the soil for moisture and nutrient and this kind of association between the two partners is called symbiotic association the next type of uh, modification uh, an adventitious root is the reproductive root reproductive roots uh, are actually uh, those roots which give rise some buds and when those buds gets detached of the root they have the capability to give rise to uh, a fully developed shoot or plant next we are going to discuss about the nematophore nematophore is as we discussed uh, uh, in initial uh, uh, lecture that it is a specialized structure developed from the root in certain plants growing in swamps and marshes and they are serving as a respiratory organ uh, and uh, um, important for a marshy and swampy area or saline area plants the question that arises that how and why nematophores develop so the answer is there are certain plants which have no tap root they have no true root systems and they have radial or adventitious root system such type of adventitious or radial root system uh, have the capability to give uh, to arise from any part of the plant and they make a messy uh, structure around the root area and that messy structure make it very difficult for the root to respire properly or get oxygen properly therefore from these a radial roots small anchoring roots are given off above the ground and which are vertical in position and are called vertical nematophores or breathing roots that protrudes above the surface of the ground the nematophores may be different in shapes and structure in different species for example an avicennia these are slender and flexible while an sonoracea they are strong and woody in place of two tape root rhizophora species has only a set of branching radial or prop roots which give rise a long um, arched roots and these roots uh, put out radially uh, the nematophores that serve as a respiratory organ now what does these nematophore do the nematophore develop superficial rooting system this rooting system serves first for the shallow anchorage and then 
The next function they perform is the absorption of water and oxygen and an anoxic or anaerobic condition. Nematophores gives mechanical support to the tree. And the next function is uh, nutritive. They perform the uh, function of getting nutrition or the assimilation of oxygen. They cause various adaptations to the rooting systems, adding in respiration and anchoring the plant. So this was all about the characteristics and modification of roots and their types on the basis of different purposes. To prepare this, uh, mm, uh, this source of learning for you people, I consulted uh, books and certain web-based uh, databases. Here I have given, you can follow these uh, books and they may help you out. Um, if you have any question or you have any problem, you can contact me and uh, along with that these reference may help you uh, out in learning this uh, learning about the characteristics and modification of fruits thank you so much